I am currently unemployed at the moment, but I am an expert in the Big Bang Theory. I'm a fourth grade teacher, but I'm an expert on the three B's of classical music. I'm a comedy writer, but I'm an expert in the Super Bowl. Welcome to the experts. Our game is played in four rounds. In round one, our experts are going to answer ten questions apiece. So we're going to start now with Adam, our Big Bang Theory expert. Here we go, Adam. Question one. At what university do Sheldon and Leonard work? Caltech. Correct. Sheldon is unhappy with the Fox Network for canceling what Joss Whedon show? Firefly. Correct. What Midwest city is Penny from? Omaha, Nebraska. That is right. And what actress from the show also played Johnny Galecki's girlfriend and wife on Roseanne? Melissa Gilbert. Sorry, that's Sarah Gilbert. Sarah. Little house on the Big Bang Theory. In the first season, what movie prop does Leonard buy for $800 thinking it's a miniature when it's actually life-sized? Uh, time machine. That is exactly right. Question six. In what season does Penny tell Leonard she loves him? Three. Six. So we go now to seven. What Bon Jovi song does Amy play on her harp for boyfriend slash girlfriend sing-along night? Uh, no, I don't know. It's Wanted, Dead or Alive. What is Howard's astronaut nickname given to him when Mike Massimino overhears something during their Skype call? Fruit Loops. Correct. What Canadian band sings the show's theme song? Bare Naked Ladies. That's exactly right. You've gotten six of nine. This is your final question. In the beta test initiation episode, when Raj gets his new iPhone, what does he teach Siri to call him? Sorry, Adam. It's sexy. That's sexy. You got six of ten, and we move now to you, Blake. The Super Bowl. What number Super Bowl was played in 2013? That'll be Super Bowl 47. Correct. What uh, is the only NFC team to have never played in a Super Bowl? The Detroit Lions. Correct. What quarterback had rushing touchdowns in Super Bowls 21, 24, 32, and 33? John Elway. That is right. What running back rushed for a Super Bowl record 204 yards in Super Bowl 22? Timmy Smith. Correct. Question five. What global organization performed in four halftime shows in the 70s and 80s? Greatest artist of our time, Up With People. That is right. You've gotten none wrong. What quarterback won the Super Bowl despite posting a QB rating of just 22.6 in the game? Ben Roethlisberger. That's right. What play resulted in the first points of Super Bowl 46? Um, what play? Safety. A safety is right. Intentional grounding on Tom Brady on that play. You haven't gotten a question wrong. This is your eighth. Who was the only active defensive player to have won Super Bowl MVP? Uh, Dexter Jackson. It's Ray Lewis. The longest play from scrimmage in Super Bowl history was an 85-yard pass from Panthers quarterback Jake Delhomme to what wide receiver? Moussin Muhammad. Moussin Muhammad is the correct answer. And finally, who is the only Super Bowl MVP not born in North America? Heinz Ward. He was born in South Korea. He was born in South Korea, and you set up a fantastic segue for me because I learned something before the show. Our next contestant, Nam, was born in South Korea. Nam, uh, your category are the three B's of classical music. You just saw nine questions correct from Blake. Your work's cut out for you. Let's go. Question one. Put Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms in order from oldest to youngest. Bach. Beethoven and Brahms. That's exactly right. I gave it to you. What single Bach work is referred to as both the 48 and books 1 and 2? The Well Temper Clavier. That's right. And what key was Brahms Symphony No. 4 written? E minor. It is Symphony No. 4 in E minor. In what town was Beethoven born? Bonn. This is your fifth question. You are on a streak. Whose first symphony is also known as Beethoven's 10th? Brahms. That's right. What three letters before a number indicate a composition written by Bach? Sorry, Nam, that's BWV. B -W -V. Oh, okay. What is Brahms' longest composition? Wow. Um, the second piano concerto? A German requiem. German requiem is his longest. Which of the three Bs studied composition with Joseph Haydn? Uh, Beethoven. That's right. What composer friend's widow did Brahms fall in love with? Uh, Clara Schumann, uh, Robert Schumann. 
That's right. So we come into the last question. What was the subject of Beethoven's non-musical work, the Heligenstadt Testament? His contemplation for suicide and his deafness. That is correct. Eight out of ten.